As a matter of fact, I am. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kawana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm, what about you, Yagami? I want to hear your thoughts. We should listen to Sarisan. I understand why Ahara and Kawana did what they did, but I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sarisan's. Hmm, what do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kuwana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. That should be my line, Saurikun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. Yeah. Right. Yep. You heard him. Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing in Ijincho. It's very bizarre. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijincho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijincho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa-sensei got killed. Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kawana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijincho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. 
Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm gonna head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. <laughs> How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? Hello? It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Yahara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims besides Yahara-san to offer revenge. Yahara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kuwana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kuwana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge, too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Yes who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? You don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. Yagami-san, back already? <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Okay. Take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The ministry revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. <laughs> Go her. Vice minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kuwana up on his offer, Silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to R.K. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but R.K. already took an innocent life while hunting Kiwana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting a search for the suspect, self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. Nearby Why are they looking for Kuwana? 
shortage of teachers. Shouldn't they be after Soma? Alassane's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawasan. Hmm. If Kawanasan was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. The police only seem to want Kawana. But why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Been a while, Hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kuwana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news? Kuwana was caught on camera near the crime scene, plus he knew the victim. If that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pickup to Sawa Sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh huh? I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Abe-san? On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagamishi. I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Yagami, why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... It's Sakurai. Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> This isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You wanna say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the can. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah. Good call. Then let's. Damn. What's he up to? Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <sighs> well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. Might as well do it with a pleasant view. Do the cops really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? We wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. We could have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitakata. He's been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras, too. Like when he entered her apartment wasn't. How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups had been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when they were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to Grillihara. But after that murder footage came out, 
really stirred shit up. Sawa-sensei's case has me scratching my head, too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Raise the footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa-sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part, Kawana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kawana gone, and they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kuwana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what'll keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice, and then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? <laughs> You never did answer the question, Nami-san. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, Detective? Smartass! <laughs> Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Piece of shit! I've had enough! That son of a bitch! Yeah, I figured I had to fight him sooner or later, but I thought I would fight the other dude too. Oh, your health is purple. Bugging up on this quick time events, that's all. That's all it is. Messing up on the quick time events, that's all. Got it this time. No, 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 no. I think it's time for you to have a sit down, buddy. No, sir. Said, fuck that. Oh shit. Oh. That's how you feel, Mo. I 
see, you got a hard opponent. It's just that, that damn quick time event. You don't get that shit perfect. Your ass is going for a swim. I at least swam like two times. You're worth the opponent, sir. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. And I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kawana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force? Who would want Kawana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? We were the first to the scene, which means the big wigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, no one will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma, but he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. That's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, it'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kuwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your shit than keep a lid on it. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. Afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? The Gene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kawan has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Jean Show. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawan is there? You're not going to say you got that from me, right? I don't no, have much not. time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. 
If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. I mean business.